Hey everyone! On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these stunning high-end looking pieces using paint sticks. They are not just for mixing paint, there are so many DIY projects you can make with them, and they're very inexpensive. For all of today's DIYs, I used only three packs of five gallon paint sticks. A pack comes with three for about a dollar. I'm going to be making a wooden tray using six paint sticks. It is cheaper to purchase these at Lowe's or Walmart, at least where I live. Home Depot sells them for about 50 cents more. Let me know if it's the same in your area. I want to cut off the curved handles and I'm just going to use a miter box and saw to do that. I do like to tape a couple of these together when I'm sawing. It makes it go a little faster and they come out evenly. And I only tape two together at a time because I like to lay them flat when I'm sawing and that's all that can fit. But you don't have to do it that way. You can also trim them individually as well. So once the handles have been trimmed off, I give the edges a quick sanding and now they are ready to be glued together. I'm using wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree. You can use any wood glue, but I do love the small nozzle on this one. It gives a lot of control and it dries pretty fast. Definitely use whatever glue you prefer. You can also use hot glue as well. I apply the glue on the edges like so and I make sure that the ruler marks or the bottom of the tray is facing up when gluing. That way when I turn it over, the top of the tray is going to look nice and smooth. But with that said, it is actually going to be a double-sided wooden tray slash riser, which you will see in the end when we are done. It's going to look awesome. Then I clamp them together. I'm just using Velcro strips and I give it at least a few minutes to dry. While that is drying, I get another paint stick and I measure the height, which comes out to about five and three quarters of an inch. I measure and mark for each end and I just use a miter box and saw, which I always like to do outside. So now the glue has dried and the paint sticks have been cut and these two smaller pieces are going to be placed on the edge like so. And these smaller pieces glued on the ends will give the tray more strength and durability. Now I did say this is going to be double sided, it's a two for one, so I want to remove the white ruler markings. I sand as much of that as I can off and it does gradually fade away and once we get some color on it you won't even see it. For some color I'm going to use Waverly Antique Wax, you can also use acrylic paint or stain, whatever you prefer. So I just buff that on all over. I do want this to be a little darker, at least on the side of the tray. And on the back, I will go a little lighter. For dimension, I darken up the edges like so. For handles, I use two jumbo popsicle sticks and four craft cubes that I got from Dollar Tree. I trim the sticks down, take them outside, and spray paint them gold. I glue them together to form handles just like that. Looking back, I realize I should have glued them together first and then painted them. They are decorative, so you don't want to grip onto them, but the glue should keep them intact. I glue them down evenly on each side and that is it. Wow, this tray came out beautifully. I love the pairing of the wood and the gold and the best part is that you can turn it over and use the other side as a riser or stand as well. A high-end looking piece for only a couple of dollars. For the next paint stick DIY, you're going to need three five gallon paint sticks, which comes in a pack for about a dollar depending on your location. These I got at Walmart and the wood pattern is a little different from the ones you get at a hardware store, but it works just as well. I measure about 10 inches from the edge and I mark that, then I measure the height 
and just like the first DIY, I taped two together, like so, which of course is optional. You can saw them individually as well. I'm going to be using a miter box and saw to cut out 10 inches of width from all three paint sticks and from the leftover sticks that will be cut out, I'm also going to cut out two at four and a quarter inches and these will be the base for the legs of the riser. And I'm going to sand and remove the ruler marks from the two smaller wood, although this part really won't be seen as much unless you're looking under the riser, but I did want to fade it a bit. I'm going to stain the wood in the shade Driftwood from Minwax and I'm using a cloth to get that all over. I wanted to stain first before gluing together not only to get a good bond but if the glue seeps out and it gets on the wood, those areas won't take the stain very well. I will be gluing the three 10 inch wood side by side so as I'm applying the stain, I'm making sure not to get any of it on those sides because gluing together bare raw wood produces a much stronger bond. I stain all sides of the smaller wood pieces while avoiding the long edges. I let it dry a bit and then I glue the wood together. Now I did forget to glue them together with the bottom side facing up so that the surface will be smooth when turned over. So I just flipped that over since the glue was still wet. And especially for this one, unlike the first DIY, this is a one-sided riser. Then I clamp it together with tape. I'm gluing down the two smaller pieces like so, and I'm just placing down popsicle sticks on the ends just to make sure the bottom pieces are glued evenly. You can glue them all the way on the edge as well, but I wanted to take it in a bit. And then I check to make sure they're straight with a carpenter square. For extra support, I'm going to glue down two tumbling tower blocks, and once it's flipped over, you're not going to see it. I'm going to seal the riser with Minwax Polycrylic, especially since this has a lighter stain. I love how it turned out. A pretty stand you can place in your bathroom or kitchen or anywhere in your home. So easy to make and it only costs about a dollar. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye. Thank you.